Well, it's another rough day for Wall Street as the coronavirus pandemic continues to cause market uncertainty. The Dow started this week with its largest one-day point drop in history, but rebounded yesterday, finishing up more than 1,000 points. But once again, stock prices are falling today. Melissa Armo, CEO and founder of the Stock Swoosh, is joining us now by phone to talk about this week's market volatility. And Melissa, how would you explain what is happening here? What is happening is that people are panicking and they're selling their positions. And we've seen this continued selling really pretty much since March 3rd, but really dramatically in the last week. I think the volatility is going to continue. People have been up in their stock ever since 2016. We had a huge run up. And so people now are scared and they're taking profits. And I believe the volatility is definitely going to continue. Melissa, how are the federal government's stimulus spending promises impacting the markets? Because it seemed to have a positive effect at first, and then that didn't last very long. Well, right now, they're just discussing what they're going to do. They're discussing the idea of sending a check for $1,000 out to everyone. I don't know if that's really going to ultimately solve the problem. The, the White House and the administration is attempting to help support the markets and people by coming up with these ideas. But if people aren't working, I'm not sure a $1,000 check is going to do it. And here in New York City, where I'm located, businesses are closed. Across the country, businesses are closed. And, and not only individuals are missing out on paychecks, but how are businesses going to pay their rent? Some of the leases for commercial space in New York are 50 grand a month. They have to be open every single day. A week off is, is, is terrible for some of these businesses. So it's affecting businesses and individuals. Very important questions that need to be answered. Uh, what is your advice for people who have money invested in the stock market right now? What should they be doing? Well, here's what I think people should do. Number one, ask yourself if you need the money that you have invested in the market right now. If you honestly need the money that you have in the market now, then you could sell because there's a possibility that we could continue lower. At this point now, I really don't see when the selling is going to stop. It's very difficult because the momentum right now is to the downside. So if you need the money right now or even in the next six months, then you could sell and most people are up. Now, if you do not need the money right now, okay, if you have money invested and you don't need it right now, then ask yourself, are you just panicking? Because if you don't need the money right now, then maybe you just hold through it. Look away. Let your 401k ride it on out. I do believe the market will stabilize at some point. But the problem is, is it going to stabilize in one week or six months from now? I think the markets are pretty much messed up as far as the trend goes for 2020. And even with a stimulus package, we're so far off the highs right now that I think if people are invested in the market long term and they don't need the money in 2020, then they can ride it out. Because I believe the market will at some point go back up near the highs, but it could be 12 to 24 months out. Now, the next thing is, if you're not in the market, and I've been getting this question from a lot of people lately, if you're not in the market but you want to get in, what should you do? I think you should wait. I think you should wait until the time is right, because if we're lower, then you don't want to jump in and then jump the gun and sell your positions right away, it's because that will continue to push the market down. There will be a huge opportunity at some point to buy into this market. It may not be right now, and it may not be soon, but it could be at some point later in 2020. So I think people should wait, save up, save their cash, and get ready to go into the market or buy more in the market at some point later. Okay, Melissa Armo of Stock Swoosh, thank you so much.